Have you been struggling to exercise lately? I know I have. I've been using two rocks that I found on the beach as my weights. I've also been getting my cardio in by walking back and forth to the fridge. But today we have Erin Azar joining us. Erin, who is a YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram star, uh, joins us to discuss Mrs. Space Cadet, her channel's name, about training for a marathon, and as she calls herself, an imperfect mess. And we're so excited to have her on. Thank you for being here. Yay, thank you. I'm excited too. <laughs> um, so we'd like to start with a more like fun, fast round. So running or cycling? Running. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Roses or tulips? Tulip. Baseball or football? I honestly can't pick. I hate <laughs> both of them. Okay. If I had to choose, I guess football. <laughs> okay, I feel the same way. <laughs> <laughs> Dark chocolate or milk chocolate? Milk chocolate. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Cupcakes or cookies? Cookies. Apples or oranges? Apples. <laughs> awesome. Absolutely. <laughs> Can you talk about where you're joining us from? Uh, well, actually, my husband's truck right now. Um, yeah, <laughs> we live in a rural uh, Pennsylvania area, and our internet is so slow. So when you said, hey, we're going to do this podcast on Zoom, I'm immediately like, all right, well, I got to pick what parking lot to drive to and use a hotspot on my phone. So <laughs> that's where I'm joining from. Amazing. <laughs> where are you in the country? Um, actually, Pennsylvania. Yeah, uh, southeastern Pennsylvania, um, Berks County. What's your favorite part about that area? Definitely just um, space. I don't like, I, I love visiting cities. I, there's just so much diversity and things to do in cities. But in terms of everyday life, I start feeling claustrophobic. Okay. <laughs> so I just love the openness about it. And like, I can go on my runs and not see anyone for like five miles. And wow. it's just quiet, um, fresh air and close to my family. That's nice. Can you talk about your running? What prompted you to start Mrs. Space Cadet and what is it? Yeah, um, well, Mrs. Space Cadet, I actually had my YouTube channel for a while and I would just post random funny things about like how you said my imperfect mess of a life. And um, that, that name of the channel actually came about when I was maybe 11. I, I was a kid and I think I lost $20 or something on a school field trip or a Girl Scout field trip. And my uh, friend's mom said, oh, Erin, you're such a space cadet. And that kind of always stuck with me. And I really am spacey. I don't know what it is in my brain that makes me that way. But I decided, you know what, I'm just going to embrace that. <laughs> and so if you come to my channel, you know, it's not going to be, you know, I'm not going to be put together. <laughs> but the running actually started after I had my third baby last year. I found myself just really overweight for my body, like what was normal for me. Um, I wasn't feeling healthy. I was pretty miserable and it was warm weather. And I just thought, you know what, I'm putting on these um, you know, sneakers with holes in them. I'm going to wear whatever ratty clothes I have, and I'm just going to get out and run. Cause I, I just felt like this kind of like anxiety or feeling in my chest that I just had to do something about it. And so I thought to stick with it, I'm just going to challenge myself to do it every day for a month. And the amount of life changing, um, like epiphanies kind of that came to me on those runs was so empowering to me and I'm like you know what I'm gonna go for a marathon even though I never ran anything close to it I'm just gonna do it for myself I have to try you know so that's how that started and have you already run your marathon are you training for the next one I'm training for my first one so okay. the longest run so far is has been um, 12 miles, which I just did on Sunday. Wow. And yeah, so this coming Sunday will be 13 miles. Amazing. And I'm just, I'm so glad that I started filming even like when I was trying to run one mile, because if you come to my channel or my TikTok or something like that now, you'll see, oh, okay, she's running 13 miles. I can never do that. I, I'm not interested. 
But if you go back, like it's all documented. You can see me struggling kind of near tears in my first video of the playlist um, where I'm really just trying to run one mile. Wow. So it's really empowering to and motivating to see like I started there too and I'm still overweight. I'm still not, you know, the perfect like fitness model, but I'm progressing, you know. That's amazing. What's yeah. what's your marathon you're going to run? Do you have it all set? Like which which one are you going to hit up? I think I finally decided on the Philadelphia marathon. I also mm-hmm. heard the wine glass marathon and there's also one I think in Hershey. Um, that are also good, but I'm like, I'm going to do the Philadelphia one. I hear it's really fun. Um, and people do ask, what are you going to do if it's canceled? And in that case, I'm, I hate to even think of this, but I'm going to make a route out here. Um, and there's a ton of really huge hills that I run on out here. So I don't really want to run a marathon, on them, but I'm just going to do it because just how I am, I need a date. I need to stick with it. And whether it's there or here, I'm going to do it. Wow. That's amazing. I'm from New York, um, New York city. So every, okay. every year there's like the whole fanfare, the whole city like celebrates the New York marathon and it just, Oh, I love that. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to do that one year. <laughs> I do want to, I do. Yeah. It, it just looks awesome. One of my friends just ran it last year and it just was like amazing. Like, cause you can track people and you like go and you yell at like where they're going to be. Like you take oh, the cool. really quickly and you like find them. Yeah. I love yeah. that. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> and can you talk about inspiring people to get up and move? You said like your first video, it's like you breathless and out of breath. Have you talked to some of your followers about um, their own running and getting up and exercising? Yeah. Um, I, when I started this, I really was just documenting it for myself because I'm a visual person. I need to see, okay, I'm at three miles now. Now I'm going to go back and, and look how I try. I couldn't run one mile because that's kind of what motivates me. Mm-hmm. But what I started noticing, especially when I started posting the runs on TikTok, ta- one of them blew up to like over a million views. Wow. And that really you know, funneled people over to my YouTube channel and my Instagram. And what I do after each run um, or each Instagram post, I always ask a question to them. Sometimes it's, what are you struggling with, with your running, you know, your eating habits or something. And we can all have this huge conversation in the comment section, which I love. I'm so like, it's my accountability. It's my everything, you know, I just love talking to them. And what I noticed started happening was people were actually commenting, hey, you're inspiring me, you're motivating me to run, or I just ran my first mile. And it still makes me like tear up a little bit because I never thought I would have that kind of positive effect on somebody, but it's addicting. Like I, every comment I read like that, I'll have a full on conversation with that person. Like I want them to keep going because the high that I got the first time I like progressed to two miles, the, like how good and empowered I felt, I want everyone to feel like that. So I don't want people, when I kind of read their comments and I feel like they're stuck, like how I was, I want to help them. So, and it's such a good feeling when I see them succeeding. It's wow. really amazing. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. And can you talk about how you're staying in shape and what you're, what you're up to in quarantine? Yeah, quarantine has really, um, I'm an introvert, so I, I'm like outgoing online and everything, but you know, in a group of people I don't know, I'm like, Ugh. so to me, it's kind of nice to stay home, but I'm struggling with the kids, um, my daughter missing her end of kindergarten. And I'm, I'm an empath. I feel everyone else's feelings. So if she's sad, I'm sad. If the kids are frustrated, I'm frustrated. You know, I, I just feel for them. It it can't be fun being stuck inside and not fully understanding why, like we're open, there's this virus and we have to be careful. And, um, so that's kind of, that's been my most difficult part, but in terms of, um, quarantine, I feel like it's really kept me focused on my goal of running the marathon. 
because the only things I have, like all the other outside society, social things are cut out. So all that noise, <laughs> yeah. and it's really like, you can really focus in on what you want to get done. Um, work. I do have a, another job for a medical device company. So I've been focusing on, a lot on that between having the kids wow. there, like not in school and stuff. Yeah, that's so that's been a, a little tough. And, um, but just this, um, you know, brand, I guess, that I'm building of Mrs. Space Cadet and this community has been what's really driving me. And I definitely want to grow it and help yeah. a ton of people. That's amazing. And can you talk yeah. about your headband? Um, I know that yeah. in your videos and on YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah it's definitely, I, I got these sweatbands that are, I got one in like every color. Incredible. And, um, when we we went to visit my parents in Puerto Rico over the winter and I just I sweat so Ooh. much like yeah I just I'm just a sweaty person when I work out <laughs> and nice. it's not pretty you know <laughs> but um one of my friends suggested hey you should wear sweatbands because then the sweat won't get in your eyes so I decided you know what I'm gonna have fun with it I'm gonna get the brightest colors I can <laughs> and just rock them with my tie-dye shirts and you know whatever <laughs> and I feel like it's um it's uh when people come to my channel this is how they see me you know ready for a run so i thought i'd present myself like this today <laughs> incredible <I love> <laughs> and you recently tried jubilance um can you tell us about how you found it i actually feel like you know something in my phone was listening to me because <laughs> i had a conversation with my sister um we did a little social distancing porch talk the one day and we, especially since starting this training, I have two horrible weeks a month, every month. And for years, I've kind of been looking for answers here and there, like, um, and it really presents as anxiety, um, gloominess, really tired, complete lack of motivation. And when you're trying to train for a marathon, that's not, you know, very good. Yeah. And so I had this conversation with her. She suffers with the same thing. And I'm thinking, it can't just be, I know it's hormones. I, mm -hmm. I, I understand that the, you know, certain ones go up and down throughout the month, but what is it that's missing that there has to be some kind of supplement, right? That's mm -hmm. what I was trying to say. And honestly, the next day, I think it was, I saw an ad for Juvia. <laughs> and I thought, I'm not even mad about this. I'm not even, <laughs> if something was listening to me and put it on there, I'm not mad about it because that's exactly what I was looking for. I, I couldn't find anything until then. So I researched about it. Um, and I was kind of, you know, weary about a supplement. Um, but I just looked into it. I read the reviews and I'm like, you know, what's it going to hurt to try it for 30 days? Mm -hmm. So this is actually uh, what we, this is the end of week three. So That's this awesome. week would have actually been one of my really horrible weeks. And um, so far it's, I have not had the anxiety. Oh, another thing is sleeplessness. Oh. I have slept so well. Um, awesome. which probably helps with anxiety. Like yeah. if you don't sleep and you're, you can't really think right, you probably feel anxious and gloomy. Um, so that has been a huge game changer this week. I want to continue taking it for the rest of the 30 days and really feel how I feel. But um, believe me, if this actually does work for me, I will be sharing about it on my social media because it's, oh, another thing I realized, speaking of my community in the comment section when i asked um what's something that you guys are struggling with in terms of a health goal mm -hmm. the overwhelming amount of women that said i start working out and then after two weeks i fall off the bandwagon because i'm not motivated mm -hmm. i'm wondering can you just track your cycles because oh. i really feel like we could have a big data dump like just you know analyst uh what's that called not analytical yeah when it's just case like, by case yeah we can look at their data yeah and just see like do you guys notice a trend because i do I i'm wondering do. <laughs> yeah 
<laughs> so I'm wondering if for them, you know, maybe that could help. Maybe it is PMS or, you know, it's not them just, oh, I'm not motivated anymore. Or, oh, I fall off the bandwagon. It could be an actual, you know, cycle thing. Wow. Well, yeah, I'm, so I'm interested. I'm glad it's working for you so far. You'll have to keep yeah. us updated. And I will. We'll send you some for you and your sister to try. Um, oh, good. Uh, yeah. I've, I've been <laughs> raving like about it. it to her this week. Good. Yeah. She try it too. I have, yes. I, have two, I have two sisters and they we're constantly on it as well because <laughs> yeah. or else the household is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I <bet>. Yeah. <laughs> um, and something that I always ask on here is, um, what does womanhood mean to you? And I know that's like constantly changing. It can change like 30 seconds from now, but. Right. Yeah. What is it right, right now? Yeah, that is a very broad question. <laughs> but I, what I do know is that has changed um, through the years for me, totally. Uh, like when I was younger, it very much meant like, feminine and beauty and you know all those traditional things you think about um but it has definitely in, uh evolved for me uh it just personally for me womanhood definitely means lifting up others and raising good humans i feel like especially being on social media i see so much um mom shaming um, so much women shaming in general, like women shaming other women. Um, say it's someone that wants to share their beauty routine and they're putting on makeup and someone comments like, oh, you're not doing that right. Or why do your eyebrows look like that? Um, yeah, so that hurts my heart to see. <laughs> and so I definitely feel kind of like this protective um like instinct I guess and that's what womanhood is to me right now is just lifting each other up and myself up I feel like that's important that a lot of women don't do is lift themselves up that's wonderful and if you could have like share one piece of advice that you've learned from Mrs. Face Cadet um to some of your followers or to just a woman on the street what would that be um <clears throat> I think definitely just be authentically yourself and get rid of the people that don't like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So and just, you know. just always try and you never know what someone else is going through and just be there for people. I feel like that's really missing sometimes in society. We just always prejudge, you know? Um, but I feel like when I started this whole running journey, what was missing in myself was definitely self-love. And you always hear that, like, you need to love yourself, you know, before anyone can love you. But it's, who cares about someone loving you? You need to love yourself to just be happy with yourself, you know, to have a happy life and help and be healthy. Um, yeah, that's, I think I would just share things like that. Thank you so much, Erin. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, is there anything else you'd like to add? You know, if you are feeling, if you're someone who's feeling how I was before I started this, kind of lost, down on yourself, unmotivated, feeling unhealthy, head to my YouTube channel. Even if you don't want to subscribe, just watch a video that you can relate to. I would say watch other videos, but the reason I started mine is because there aren't videos that show someone like me really struggling with life and running. Um, or just, um, you know, find something that's relatable to you. On social media, it's everyone's highlight. So mm -hmm. if you look at a typical Instagrammer or, you know, um, athlete, you might start feeling down on yourself. So just go on one of my videos comment something you will have so many supportive people writing to you wanting to help you including myself i'm always there and my dms on instagram are always open too that's so nice thank you erin thank you so thank much you this was a lot of fun